Thank you, Orla. And I too um, want to welcome uh, the funding for the childcare uh, sector for um, the workers. I think that was an issue that constantly was brought to my attention. And you know, we do need to look at the overall model of childcare. But I believe this is a start, and I want to welcome that. I also want to welcome the national childcare scheme to be extended to children up to 15 years of age from the end of next year. And I think that's another really important move for families. And I, I just think that that's the road that we need to take. Um, the additional number of teachers, again, for schools, because it does lower the classroom sizes, that's very welcome. But also the 1,600 SNA posts in schools, I really feel that will make big changes. And I think that's what we need to have. And that's, that's another role that I, I believe that we, we need to you know, work on and we need to make sure that we have SNAs there. I think that's so important from you know, talking to families and that, that this, this is what we need. Um, I want to ask about well the, the extension of the free GP, the GP care to children, uh, which is extended from six to seven year old to six and seven year olds. That's also welcome. Hopefully, that will raise um, to twelve year olds eventually. I'm sure that's what the what we're looking at uh, long term. So I, I would be looking at that to be extended to the twelve year olds eventually. Um, of course, the free contraception from uh, seventeen to twenty five year olds. The thirty one million in that. I think that's a really positive. I think we need to do more, but I just think at least again, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a step in the right direction. And I, I just think that, you know, that we need to be addressing these type of issues. And I think that's, that's really welcome. The one concern I have, and I, I do welcome the dental access to medical card holders, but we all would have seen during the COVID, which was very hard for people um, the last 18 months or more, was where medical, some people who had medical cards went to dentists and the dentists were not taking the medical cards. Now, that is a huge issue for me in the sense of if you have a medical card and you want to go to your dentist, um, why, you know, the dentist. Now, some did take them, but some didn't. And I think while this is welcome that there is um, more access to it, I, I just think we need to look at this. I think the, the bigger issue is that there is some... Uh, communication with, with the dentist and with the department so that we can make sure that this is accessed properly and I think communication will be really important here. Um, I also uh, know and I know Minister Burke spoke about the housing and it's great to see that we've had, I think it's the biggest um, uh, budget for housing, um, it's four billion annually and, and that's really welcome but you know, housing was one of the big issues in, in the last general election and, you know, we really need to build housing. We really need to make sure that the money invested is to build houses, whether it's local authority housing, whether it's affordable housing, um, you know, giving people access to family home because people do not want to be renting. And I think that needs to be a real priority that we actually build as many houses as we can to make sure that people absolutely have a home and they have access to rent a home. And the reason that rents and um, housing are so dear is because it's lack of supply. And unless we build, there will always be a lack of supply. And I know the government are committed to building houses, but I really believe that we need to make sure that we make that an urgent um, matter going forward. The other uh, area that keeps coming up in, in my own clinics is broadband. And I know we're encouraging people to work from home, which is really important. And we've given the 30% uh, you know, towards maybe heating or whatever. And that's really welcome. But we need to have proper broad broadband facilities. And that's another area that we need to address um, because that's so important for rural Ireland. And I, I live in a rural area. So we need to make sure that rural Ireland is not forgotten and that we do have the broadband and that, you know, we do build our houses and that we, you know, we need to make sure because we spoke about quality of life, you know, and that's so important that people have a quality of life. People have gone through so much, um, as I said, during the pandemic. So we need to make sure while I welcome the five year increase in, you know, in, in the pension and I welcome it, you know, um, for social welfare and that's all, all that is welcome but we also need to make sure that we look after our most vulnerable and that's what we need to do it's a start but we really need to do a lot more thank you very much